This video will provide you with the basics of downloading and installing the Jeppesen Navigation Database for the G3000 Integrated Avionics System. The Jeppesen Navigation Database works on a 28-day cycle. Uploading at the aircraft does not take a great deal of time and can normally be done on battery power. The Navigation Database will be referred to as Nav Data for the remaining portion of the video. Locate the spare SD card for the Nav Data updates. Insert the SD card into the card reader for the computer that will be used to complete your updates. With your computer connected to the internet, open Jebison Services and enter your username and password. The update manager will display all the available databases in your account. Scroll down to the nav data with the cycle date you need. Click Start. Under the Pick an option, pick the top option and then click Browse. Select the removable drive where the SD card was inserted. Select OK and continue. The time remaining for the download will be displayed in the current selection status box. When the download is complete and the pop-up box appears, card is ready for use. Select OK. Take the SD card out of the card reader and return to the aircraft. With power completely off the aircraft, pull the MFD and right PFD circuit breakers located on the right circuit breaker panel. Place the SD card in the top slot of the left PFD. You will be asked if you want to update the standby navigation database on the bottom card. By selecting yes, the download database will be saved to the lower SD card in standby. After the standby nav data is updated, a second screen will display asking if you want to update active nav data. Yes should be selected if the effective date has passed and no should be selected if the update was completed prior to the effective date. After the database is verified, the display will automatically start in normal mode. This process must be completed on the MFD and the PFD2. The circuit breakers previously pulled for the MFD and PFD2 must be engaged when the nav data card is placed in the display. When the last update is complete on PFD2, select power off. Remove the nav data card from the PFD2 and place in a secure location in the aircraft. Select power on. The MFD splash screen will display with your database status on the right side of the screen. Verify the navigation expiration date to ensure the update was successful. If the database is loaded to the active prior to the effective date, the display will have the expiration date displayed in yellow. The GTC1 and GTC2 updates will automatically begin the sync process from the internal memory of the display. From the home screen on the GTC, select Utilities, Setup, Avionic Status, and then Database. You will now verify the expiration date on the MFD, PFD1, PFD2, GTC1, and GTC2 to ensure the update was successful. If the database was only loaded to standby, verify the effective date to ensure the update was successful. After the update has been verified, cycle power off for approximately 10 seconds. Select power on and verify your CAS window does not have a yellow X. If a yellow X is present, the active nav data cycle does not match. Access the GTC as described previously to verify the active nav data matched on all three displays and the two GTCs.